The same Lord that said, rise up and come forth, says, rise up and be thou whole. Amen. So let us rise in Christ's name, having believed that we have received. Let the congregation stand and turn to number 173, for there may be some person here who hasn't had the courage to respond to the call of God. This is for you. Number 173, softly and tenderly. preach this morning and the one that James wrote to the early church is not just for the church. It is true that most all the New Testament is written to the church. It is true that God has called us to preach primarily to the church. Seldom ever does Paul say to pray for the sinner. Always he says pray for the saint. For he knows that any church that's really the body of Christ there won't be any problem with the salvation of sinners. My friends, it'll happen as where there's a love affair with God, there is an explosion. I mean, there is a family in explosion. There's no question about it. This is, this is unknown. This message is almost unknown in the evangelical world today because on the TV when I was sick, I would hear them say they were preaching constantly. Maybe they're right because maybe they're facing. When you come with the saints, brother, the message is primarily to the believer. We're the ones that need the message. And oh, when that love affair with God starts, let me tell you something, there will be children. There will be fruit. And he's promised it as he spoke and prayed for us in John 17. This morning, there may be a sinner person burdened down. There may be a backslider. There may be someone who's not yet responded to the call of God. So we're being faithful to sing these stanzas. And this is a song chosen by the Holy Spirit for you. And for me, number 173, let's sing it and obey God. So Steve know that Wednesday night when Susie obeyed God, God started calling her. Right. And somehow the enemy was able to hold her in her seat. Right. Pastor Steve was talking to her on the phone. He said, Becky, I guess you didn't go to pray, did you? He was going to pray. He said, we're not coming. We're not coming. But the next time the Holy Spirit calls you in a service, you get out of your seat and you come and you get that victory that God wants you so he wouldn't go he wouldn't go I told him not to go I said Stephen don't you go because now she's one of the most wonderful of people 
that I knew she's going to have to come by God's voice, not any other way. And so by God's grace, here she is this morning. God's give, going to give her the victory by God's grace. Here she is. He's responded to the voice of God. Isn't that wonderful? I, I said, Stephen, don't go. Don't go. Tell her that when God calls her the next time, see, she's one of the most wonderful people we know. But here she is for the victory here this morning, for the cleansing, to get this awful weight off of her by God's wonderful grace. Isn't it wonderful? God has it for you too, dear one. Say, how do I know the call of God? You can feel it within the heart. It's the knock on the heart's door. It doesn't make any difference what you profess. God knows the need. We're to respond to his voice. He knows more about us than we know about ourselves. So respond to him as we finish this wonderful song of invitation. Haven't, we haven't sung this in a long time. God led for it this morning. Hallelujah. All right, third stanza, Pastor. Time is United States sentence about services here he said you know they don't pay attention to the clock and he told the nation they put it in the congressional record he told it as a matter of appreciation I've got sense enough to know when 12 o'clock hour goes past that I lose some persons but Jesus loves all of us enough to hang on why well, we could have quit there we had victory we had people who judged this old thing in our heart but look look we couldn't do that God cares more about us than we do about our time schedules. Here we are singing this last stanza, and that tells you that God loves you. If you've had a need in your heart and you're weary and you're burdened, that says, oh God, you love me more than anybody's time schedule. He really does. One time he stopped the sun so Joshua could fight the battle. Glory to God. He could even do that. So respond to his voice on this last stanza. Oh, 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 oh,